My research interests, in part, I think, must stem from my own experience growing up. The way we came to this country is by my father's efforts with a multinational firm, first in India, then in Hong Kong, and then in New Jersey. And so I've always thought of myself as, in some sense, a product of the global reach of these companies. I think my own father's experience in those organizations made me think hard about how they work and how they contribute to the world. Recently, there's been a rash of U.S. companies trying to merge with foreign companies as a way to leave the United States. They're doing it largely for tax reasons. My research is really about understanding why they're doing it and how we can fix the system so that they don't have the perverse incentives to do those things. I have really tried to develop theory and empirical support for how and why we should think about taxing global mobile capital. And so that is really 10 to 15, maybe 20 papers altogether. And it's a significant chunk of my professional career and has been funded quite graciously by the Division of Research at Harvard Business School. I've testified about four times to Congress. It is a pleasure to appear before you today to discuss international tax reform. The first time I testified, I had this kind of Mr. Smith goes to Washington feeling. That notion of somebody going to DC with a fully ambitious and somewhat naive heart. I know my mother got a particular kick out of it. She was the most perhaps appreciative person and also the toughest critic. She made a comment about how I looked down at my piece of paper quite a bit, but then she was obviously very proud. It's very rewarding that the work that we do for the scholarly community pays off when we go into our classrooms and we talk about these problems, and then it can pay off when we go and talk to policymakers. So it was really wonderful because it was a unification of a lot of different audiences, but all stemming from this common body of work, this common body of research.